Hi YouTube, I'm Aiman. Welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move the uh, front seat belt for both the uh, passenger and driver seat on a 2003-2007 Honda Accord. Alright, so the first step is just looking at the seat belt itself. We'll know that the top side is the retractor uh, behind this panel right here because all the seat belt comes out of it. And on the bottom is where it's fixed. I'm not sure you can see it. And this is where the fixed part is. See that nothing comes from here. All right, so first step is to, we're gonna try to access the retractor. And in order to do that, you can see that it's blocked by this panel. And this panel is kept down here by these two panels, one in front of it and one in back of it. Now, we don't have to remove these panels entirely, only just enough to get to it. So this one might be hard for me to do. So I'm gonna move the seat so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. Slide. All right, so it's already at forward most position. I'll put it back. Now, I said that you didn't have to remove the front panel entirely, but you can just put it back easily. So I'm just gonna pull it back out. And if I can't do it, I'll just use this pry bar. So that's what the front panel looks like. Uh, there's only like five notches, four, seven notches that you have to, to nine notches in total that you have to take off so since it's really small you can just take it off entirely on the back side all i have to do is pry it apart and this one is a bit easier for me because like because as you can see uh the fasteners are removed uh that was beforehand i think my dad removed them but uh, with, it's the same story as the front panel. There's gonna be fasteners on them. There's gonna be like around seven in total and you just have to pry them apart. Now, you can get to the uh, middle panel and I'm guessing that to take it off, there, just pry it off. Now, I might have to use a pry bar, but let me just see. All right. So I'm going to do it on both sides just to make sure I don't break it. So you can see there's already some bending. You're going to have to take it out from this lip that's under. This part might require some creative uh, finagling. But as you can see, we finally got it out. Now, let me show you what it looks like. Now. Uh, the last part that we did was taking it out and this lip right here is what keeps it in place and it goes on a underside rim that keeps it up so that's what you want to finagle out when you get to the final step as you can see there's one two one two three four uh four four uh, notches that go in four holes i think or just in the rim and finally there's one two and I guess there are some fasteners on these sides, uh, but there are at least two fasteners that will keep it in. So that's it. So we've already exposed our tractor and we already know where the other bolt we're gonna take out is. And there's one bolt right here that I have to take out. But we also have to take out the adjuster. And to do that, all you have to do is expose the bolt right here. And all you have to do is, this is a, actually a cap or a cover. All you have to do is pull from the bottom. And as you can see, it's out. There are three notches that keep it in, but they're not gonna matter once you pull it out. And as you can see, there's only one bolt to take out. Let's find our socket set. Next step is to take out these bolts. One, two, and three. First, the, action, the uh, adjuster is easiest to take out. Just take a number 14 socket, put it on, and put it down. This one, might, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a lot of force relative to me. Uh, if you're strong, it might not uh, be as hard for you though. <laughs> All right. Now I can use my Milwaukee. My favorite tool. Something that, right. All right, so it looks like the Milwaukee can't handle it. That's right, it's only 30 foot pounds. So we're gonna take our uh, uh, cordless impact driver. I think this is a 100 foot pound. Okay, 
I think. Oh, that's a huge bolt. All right. So I don't think it just comes out by itself. You might need to, you might just have to leave the bolt on, but uh, that's what it looks like. Let me just bring it closer to you. Next step is to take out the retractor. I'm gonna get out of your way. All right. Actually, let's try the Milwaukee first, just to make sure that we don't use too much force on it. We don't want to uh, destroy it. That one comes out easily. There's one at the top too. That one's a bit smaller. I think it's a 12 or a 10. Uh, I'm gonna test that out. This is a 10. All right, so that's a 10. This one doesn't, I need a bigger one actually. All right. That one comes out easily. That's what the bolt looks like. And uh, just to make sure. All right, so it looks like we just have to, we, uh, disconnect this cable right here. All I have to do is press the button. Which one is it? I think it's the one right here. Just push it down. Oh wait, no, 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 no. This one is where you push the entire cap down or up. And that's how you get it out, this one. And that's how you get it out. And there, you got the extractor. A bit hard to take out, but nothing can get done without Milwaukee. <laughs> All right, as for the final bolt, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a screwdriver. Uh, I guess I already ruined the suspense of the moment. You're gonna wanna pry the uh, cap off. You're gonna wanna stick the screwdriver in. So the space right here is not big enough for a regular socket, as you can see. So we're gonna have to use a wrench. Uh, now our ratchet is broken, so we just have to do it the regular way. And uh, I guess it's gonna be a bit more tedious, but you know, gonna maybe get some more space. It's gonna give me a bit more uh, muscle, I guess. I can see why they invented the ratchet though. Makes jobs like this a bit easier. All right. Nothing wrong with a bit of tediousness in your average mechanic life. Eventually, you should be able to take it out by hand, but uh, it looks like since it's connected here, you might not be able to do that easily. It's finally coming out. Uh, I think just uh, one more will do it, but uh, I think it just you can just finagle it out. Or, give me a second. This one gets a bit harder because the screw gets a bit tighter to take it out. I can almost feel it. Okay, there we go. The screw is finally out. And that means the entire seatbelt's out. That was a tough job. I'm gonna put it down here, so. I'm Ayman and I just showed you how to remove the seatbelt from the passenger side, uh, the front passenger side. Uh, well, it's the same for the front driver's side, uh, just on the left side. Now, if you wanna remove the uh, adjuster, all you have to do is, uh, at the top and at the bottom, there are two bolts. All you have to do is just take those out and you'll be able to take out the adjuster. We're not gonna show it because it's self-explanatory. But, uh, that's it. Now we're gonna do... In the future, we're gonna do a video on how to remove the seatbelt buckle. So that's our next video. So, uh, keep a lookout for that. And I'll see you there. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And look at other videos on I am Ivan. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. And it's getting pretty dark outside. So, uh, signing out.